Welcome, welcome, welcome to another vlog. My name's Stephen Milner and I'm a landscape photographer based in New Zealand and I specialise in film photography. Today we're at Hooker Falls in the central North Island region of New Zealand and it's quite a special place. It's where the start of the Waikato River uh, starts from. There's the mountains, Mount uh, Rupeu and Narihoe, um, and they're the tallest mountains in the tallest volcanoes in New Zealand actually tallest mountains in the North Island as well and all the snow from over winter is now melting and it flows into Lake Taupo and Lake Taupo is the largest uh, lake in the southern hemisphere and then it flows into um, the Waikato River and today we're going to be shooting a place called Hooker Falls which is essentially the start of the Waikato River and there are some beautiful waterfall features here that we're going to check out. So obviously you can see the time and the sign behind me here uh, the gate shuts at 5.30, so we have just parked my truck just over here out the way so I don't get locked in and we're going to go for a bit of a walk and today we're going to be shooting some more black and white film Ilford Ortho Plus 80 I'm keen to try out this film during the sunset hours and I'm going to be trying out my green filter I've done a little bit of research and apparently a green filter does quite a good thing of darkening skies with Ilford Ortho Plus but we will see so we'll go for a bit of a walk and see what we find um, I've been here before, it's a beautiful place and I want to take you guys with me. So come on, let's go. Let's go and create some beautiful black and white landscape photography. So we're just on a bridge here right above the river, uh, the falls here and there's a bit of a gorge and there's lots of motion and lots of uh, bubbles and oxygen in the water and it's all getting churned around and it's really dramatic and I'm really loving it. So we've just taken my first shot here with the green filter on and with my light meter uh, the exposure time at f11 ISO 80 was fifth of a second but I've put it in as fourth of a second on my camera. So we're going to take the green filter off in a second, we're just going to do a native shot, you know, with no filters. Um, so without the filter on, it's 13th of a second. So we'll just do that quickly. Without dropping the filter in the water. Yeah, and on the camera we'll go for 15th of a second. So that's that. Now we're going to put the green filter back in and put an ND stop filter, probably a three stop, just to try and blur out some of this water. So 
So we'll just load the filter in my light meter here. It's a, a three stop ND filter. And we'll just meter the scene again, F11, ISO 80. Meter in the dark area down here in the rocks. It's 15 seconds and then the brightest area which is the bright light on the clouds or the sky itself. There's no difference, or sixth of a second, average that out. 1.6 seconds, I'm just gonna check reciprocity. Yeah, 1.6 seconds, we'll go for 2 seconds. Here we go. Two second exposure. So we've just done three shots there. We've done um, one with no filter and one with a green filter. And then we've done one with a green filter with an ND filter. It's quite some nice shapes in the clouds here. And obviously the waterfall is really beautiful. It's looking special. We're gonna move on and find some of the compositions. I know a few other places, so let's go and have a look. So I've just done one shot in one direction and that's south. And now we're gonna do a shot facing north and then just in the horizon there, just in the distance we can see just about just see Hooker Falls and we'll have a little bit of a walk down there in a minute because it's quite a spectacular fall. Um, but I'm just making the most of being right above the water here and using the river or the falls or the gorge or whatever you want to call it as a bit of a compositional tool and use it as a line to lead your eye off into the distance and in the sky now we've got some kind of very subtle blue hues and quite dark clouds and there's some very light orangey yellow colours starting to come through in, in the clouds so we're just going to do an exposure on here um, I'm going to put my green filter on and we will we'll do two exposures we'll do one with the green filter and one with the ND filter so I've already got the green filter and ND filter on so we'll do that first and then we'll do the green filter on its own so I'm just going to use my light meter here. I'm just going to clear out the memory. And we'll just take a meter reading in the dark area. Which in this case is just the rocks down here. Say in 30 seconds. And then the sky is the brightest area. Third of a second, fourth of a second check the water, the water is two seconds. So a third of a second is the sky, we'll just average that out. 3.2 seconds with the ND filter. So we're gonna to have to check reciprocity with that. In fact, you know what? Let me just check it without the ND filter on because perhaps I don't need it. We'll just take that off. Okay, fourth of a second. Let me just check the exposure. Fourth of a second. I think that's enough. I think we'll just do one with the green filter because I reckon that's enough just to get a little bit of motion in the water. So we're going to take off this ND filter. And we will do a half a second exposure. Just dial that in. Just check my focus. F11, hyperfocal approach, half a second. Easy as that. Right, so we're going to walk down and look at the waterfall in a second. In fact, we're going to do that now. Let's go for a bit of a walk. Ooh, it's nice and peaceful around here.
What a beautiful waterfall this is. So I'm just going to grab another shot here now. And I want to try and capture the power of this waterfall. So I'm going to use a telephoto lens. I'm going to use my 150mm lens here. And at ISO 80, I'm going to have to shoot it wide open probably. Because I really want to try and capture um, a, a sharp image. Like, I want to capture the water. Um, I don't want any. Bl I don't want much blur in it, is what I'm trying to say. And there's quite a lot of spray coming out. Um, so we're just going to find a composition just here where I can really focus in on that. In turn, you know, really focus in on where the water comes over, and it hits the the water below, and all this spray comes out. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll be able to capture the power of this waterfall. So this is looking good. Just get my shutter release ready. So we're at auto exposure lock and I've added plus two stops of exposure compensation because I know that the cameras like me to will be reading off the water and I want that to be bright. Um, so we're just going to check. It's telling me a fourth of a second. Which is not quite as fast as I wanted it to be, but it is what it is. So we are just going to take the shot now. And there we go. Let's go and find some more compositions. There's another spot just over here on the other side of the river that I know that gives us a really, really good aspect of this waterfall. So we'll head over there and have a look. What a beautiful scenery. So this is the other spot. We're kind of right on the cliff edge here, right on the bank of the river, quite high up or at least at least 10 meters up here so obviously the railings are doing the doing the job and there's a beautiful shot on this waterfall and we're starting to get some orange um, glow in the sky here so fingers crossed something could you know so yeah, we could be on for a good shot i've still got my 50 i've still got my 150 millimeter lens on here so while i've got this lens on i'm going to do a uh, telephoto shot of this waterfall um, i think the best place for my tripod is possibly here Sort the legs out. There we go. Having to lean over the rail here a little bit, although it is safe. So this is a very detailed shot of the waterfall. There is no sky in this shot. So I'm just going to check the meter reading. It's telling me fourth of a second again. We'll just put the shorter release cable in. Fourth of a second, plus two stops of exposure compensation. And there we go. So we now are going to change our lens here now. We're going to go for a wide angle shot. So I did just change my lens to a 75 millimeter because I think it gives us a better perspective on the waterfall and the spray and the spread of the churn of the waterfall um, in the river as it flows over. So I'm going to do two shots. I'm going to do one with no filter, just, just, just one, just, just no filter, just the lens and then we'll put the green filter in and see what that does. So we're just going to do our meter readings. We're going to meet a shadow area, which is the rocks on the far side. Five seconds, six seconds. And then the brightest area, we'll just check the waterfall. That's a third of a second. We'll check the sky, 13th of a second. 13th of a second. There it is. Average it out. It's given us uh, 0.8 seconds. We'll just go through and evaluate. So just meter in the waterfall, the white bit of the waterfall, and that's given us uh, plus one EV. So I think we're good with 0.8 seconds. So we'll go with a second. Here we go. Let's check focus. Hyperfocal F11, same as the meter. Yeah, here we go. There we go. We'll just drop in the green filter. 
if I can find it. Where is it? Here we go. F11. We'll just change the meter reading on the, we'll just add the filter and the meter. Close, okay. Ah, oh, the light's changing already. Average, 3.2 seconds. Yeah, the waterfall is good. So we just need to check reciprocity with this. I'm just going to check my app. 3.2 seconds. Ortho plus, so three. So three seconds before becomes four seconds. So I think we'll go with four seconds, which is five seconds. So we will have to put it in bulb mode. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So we're currently at, we've got two more shots. We've done 10 shots so far. So I did just come back to one of my earlier compositions. And the reason being there was some quite nice light just off in the distance here. And I really do want to test this green filter out with uh, kind of ready, ready tones in the sky. So I've done one shot already at a 75 millimeter lens with a green filter. And now I've got my 50 millimeter lens on. I've got the green filter on. We're at F8, infinity in focus. ISO 80 on the light meter and um, we've got the green filter loaded into the to the filter menu I'm just going to take a meter reading of the darkest area in the scene which is down here in the, in the rocks which is 50 seconds and then we've got the sky which is 1.3 seconds we're going to average that out we're going to check for tonal values in the in the scene and we're just going to check the white areas of the, of the rapids and that's giving me plus one EV so that's nice and bright and the exposure time is eight seconds so we are just going to have to check reciprocity here. This is our last shot and we're working very quickly. Hopefully we don't make any mistakes. So eight seconds becomes 10 seconds. We're on bulb. We're on the shutter curtains open. And we're going to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. 12 shots done. I hope they turn out great. Let's just wind this film on, eh? What a beautiful spot this is. I'm so lucky to live in New Zealand because there are so many beautiful places in the North Island of New Zealand. You know, the South Island gets a lot of, a lot of attention and rightly so because there are many, many beautiful places down in the South Island, but once you start exploring in the North Island, there are some really really beautiful places and i'm very lucky so that's it 12 shots done and we're now going to make our way back to the car and tomorrow we will develop the film using Ilpatec ddx at home by me and we'll put those images up now for you to watch and i hope they turn out great please leave comments as usual and thanks for tuning in i really really hope you're having a um, a great weekend and you're week next week is is excellent and you have a great week if you really like the channel please subscribe that would be awesome it really helps me out and if you if you like the video give it a thumbs up that's the least you can do and it is greatly appreciated okay thanks for tuning in see you soon bye for now